Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Last time, we got, uh, basically wrecked by the Matriarch <laughs> on a pretty below average Eden run. So let's try and redeem ourselves a little bit here. Bad damage, bad rate of fire, but we've got the D8, which makes our rate of fire and damage even worse. Okay. Um... You know what? Just uh, stars me. I should, you know what I should have done? I should have gone, oh, this rate of fire is horrendous. Um, I should have gone into the curse room and then stars, but too late. There's our seed, G71GTSRA. If you wanna play this one for yourself, ow. Okay. All good. Please just like, there we go. So we'll get a, another reroll after this, which is super, super important. Ah. Or we could just like die. Like the D8 is our salvation here. The D8 is what could potentially keep us in this run. What do we got? Better rate of fire, better damage. It's a start. Bad speed now, but that's okay. And we know that's a secret room. Thank you. Hey, listen. Which is actually a pretty solid item. And a lot of money for a first floor. I'm liking that. We can get two more cents. We can actually buy something from a shop. Got a couple of cards here as well. If one of these is like a two of diamonds, I'll be real. It's a two of diamonds. Okay. I'm actually very happy. So now if we get two cents and a moon card, I think you stick with the two of diamonds. If we can get like one more penny, then we could buy two items. And there is another penny here. You know what? Let's, let's do it. We got bobs. Okay, we're leaving. Come here, penny. Now we use the two of diamonds. And we pop into the shop. Uh, I don't think we want any of that. I was really hoping there'd be a spirit heart for sale in there. Or like a really good item. But then we'll take the moon card as our other... Uh, we'll come grab that. Okay, and with bombs, ooh, and there's a tinted rock over there. I'm real scared though, cause there's the whole scatter bomb thing. There we go. So if we put a bomb right here, I think that will get us access. Yeah, nice. So give me that. I would love to get a key so we can check that golden chest as well. This is really just all about getting as many advantages on the run right off the bat as we possibly can. Trying to put together like a really good first floor. Until the D8 gives us enough to kind of carry us. That's, that's really what it all comes down to. That's huge. Getting that spirit heart right there. These on the other hand are very annoying. Careful! Yeah, like, let's not do these guys again. They're, it's so hard to like evade. Just cause they put so much stuff on the screen, careful. And our speed is not as good as I would like it to be as well. If I'm being honest, ah, I knew I was gonna get hit sooner or later on this fight. Now the goal is to just not get hit like, um, infinity more times. Okay, stop. Stop with all your little poops. Stop with all your poopy friends. It's okay, enough. I'm like, sl the, the, the thing you it doesn't really translate to uh, video is that I'm like sliding around on this stuff. Tears upgrade's nice. Um... And we're down to the next floor with a whole one spirit heart because that's, uh, like, <laughs> unless you get piercing shots, that's one of the harder first floor bosses, if not the hardest, I think. And I have no more bombs. 
pity because I would love to get that spirit heart in a big way. Okay. There we go. D8 gives us good damage and an average rate of fire. So that's nice. Now, like, this might actually be where we want to stay. Because we're still, like... Remember we started with a 13... Well, no, then again, we picked up, uh... We picked up Torn Photo. So actually, we're not quite where we want to be. Um, okay. This is fine. But please give me bombs. Money equals power is real nice. That's a huge damage upgrade. At least for this early into a run. So our damage is looking great. Yeah, I could live with this. Let's go and just completely ruin it. <laughs> We're going to keep rerolling with the D8 until we get to kind of where we want to be. Good damage and good rate of fire. When you have, I mean, the D8, like, the D8 is basically a game winner if you get it early enough. And we got it on the very first floor. So at this point, it's just like, we just need to stay alive long enough for it to work its magic. We're not gonna be able to take a deal here because we've just got spirit hearts, unless we get uh, a red heart, of, unless we get health from this deal, which is very possible. Oh, uh, we did, okay. So we got that. We don't really want this deal though. That's not a great deal. I think I'd rather stick with what I got. I think we're out. Let's just go. I know we can, there's a ton of tinted rocks. We could go to the shop, buy a bomb, or go to the arcade and try and, like, like we could do, but we're, we're okay. We're fine. Um, that's tempting, but with only one key, I'm very hesitant to take advantage of that. Uh, you jerk. These ravine boys are going to be the death of me. We just need to... Okay, stop. All right, well, ravine boys are all dead. So now it's just enemies that we know and that we're familiar with and that we know how to defeat. Okay, good. We got one of the spawners dead. We just want to focus on the other one. We'll deal with the little nubs afterwards because otherwise he's just going to keep spawning more and more and more and it's just not like worth it okay there we go and a tiny damage upgrade from money equals power i think at this point we really don't want to sell like we don't want to uh buy anything we want to keep our money to let money equals power kind of do its thing. Because then even if we, like, we have a fairly bad roll here with the D8, and even if that's the case, we can still, like, we will know that we're still above, like, base damage. As long as we maintain our money and make good financial decisions. Okay, that's a bit better. Still a pretty bad rate of fire, considering we have gotten Torn Photo, but it's not horrendous. Careful. I mean, basically, money equals power is like our emergency fund. Okay, that's not horrible either. Great rate of fire. And fairly mediocre damage considering money equals power. Now, on the other hand, if we can keep this rate of fire, or at least mostly keep this rate of fire, uh, we still haven't found our item room. We should do that. Probably before we go fight the boss and stuff. Uh, if we can keep this rate of fire and get rid of uh, our bad damage, like then we'll be feeling pretty good. There we go. 
better rate of fire. We've now broken the tears cap, which is real good considering real bad range though, which is not that big of a deal. Like range as far as you're a jerk. As far as uh, stats go, range is pretty low on the totem pole of stats that I care about, but still we got to get a little bit too close to enemies and our damage is not great. And then once we find like the right D8 roll, then we're just gonna basically stick with it. That's essentially our plan here. And this is not quite it. HP, I, I'm all for that. There we go. Okay, that was a non-productive reroll. Now we have a bad rate of fire and still fairly bad damage. But we'll uh, let's go fight our boss. Gertie, huh? Yeah, you need to like stay far, far away, please. He's so fast. The trick to Gertie, I think, is just like keep moving. If you keep moving, Gertie has a real hard time hitting you. Because he always charges at a fixed position, so if you're already moving... Yep, that was... Uh, I got backed into a corner. Okay, stop. There, you're dead. Whew, that was kind of nasty. What are you? Divorce papers, that's another tears upgrade. And a bone heart. Uh, we're out. <clears throat> so now with two tiers upgrades and money equals power, we are like very well positioned, I think, to re-roll into like the perfect run. Yeah, I'm hit. Should have probably gone back for some uh, red hearts to make that bone heart work for us a little bit more, but too late now. Not the end of the world, either way. There we go. Take that. Okay. Uh, get rid of the bats first. I hate you. They're gonna pop up over here. You, dude, these ravine enemies. This room is horrible. Like, who does I... Ah! I hate these guys so much. Reroll me. Great rate of fire. Fairly good damage. But a rate of fire that essentially makes up for it. Don't get hit there. Oh, what is our speed? We have 0.55 speed. I may die right here, actually. It is very plausible. They're just too fast. Sorry, we need to reroll out of this. All right, better speed, horrible damage. Reroll me. Okay. I'm dead. I meant to you. Missing, wait, we're the lost? We're now the lost. If you die holding missing page or missing, you come back as the lost? I did not know this. Okay, well, that's interesting. I've learned a thing. I mean, we're lost without Holy Mantle, so that's real scary, but I didn't know that that was even a thing. I thought it just gave you, uh, ooh. or maybe I'm thinking of a uh, faded Polaroid that gives you Polaroid invincibility every now and again. I mean, uh, what an interesting situation. <laughs> Very scary, though, because remember, we're lost without Holy Mantle, so it's not over. We do have a, a teleport card that we can use as like a last minute everything's gone horribly wrong button. I think this is where we may want to stay. Use the bomb. We have golden bombs here, so... Make use of it. Give me small rock. 
It's a nice little damage upgrade. Speed downgrade, which is not good. But our damage is cool. That was real close. That's right, we shouldn't be looking for rooms. We're, we've done it again. We're <laughs> we've come back as the lost. Uh, so, it so it must work like um, the is it broken onk? Yeah, broken onk that lets you come back as blue baby. It gives you like a percentage chance of coming back as blue baby. That must be how this item works. And we've just gotten pretty lucky twice now. Interesting. All right, why? Well, it, we we have gold bomb, so who cares? Blow this up. Uh, yeah. Sc we gotta remember we have scatter bombs. Stigmata is nice. It's another damage upgrade. Although a very, very small one. I gotta remember that the buttons now lock you in the room. So maybe we shouldn't be pressing them as, as our, as this character. Let's check this. See what we got. Nothing we're interested in. Moving on. We have to be coming up. To our boss fight here pretty soon. There's only so many directions that this floor could go. And like, honestly, well, nah, we'll reroll again. Now we have bad speed. We're looking for that run with the, the broken tier cap and high damage. Like, that's what we want. Health up. Health up. Gulp. What was our trinket? I don't even remember. Excellent. Tears up. That's something. Could make a difference when it comes to re-rolling. Um, I don't really want to fight the boss with this. Maybe I do. It's not horrible. But I'm uh, I'm gonna get greedy. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was gonna say I'm gonna get greedy, but uh, there's not enough rooms left to actually make this happen. Uh, although. We did get a little bit more money, which is ultimately more damage. So I guess that was worth it going back. But we're one hit from death. Like we could die at any moment. And it's Rag Mega. Had to be Rag Mega. The boss that is very hard to make it through without getting hit at least once. Unless you have like amazing speed or can just dodge forever. What do you got? Okay, better damage, worse rate of fire, slower speed again. We keep getting tiers upgrades. I don't really need any more tiers upgrades. We have enough of them that I am essentially at the tier cap forever. We don't need to blow up tinted rocks because they do literally nothing for us. And this one, when he dies, yeah, I was gonna say he's gonna do that. We'll get Sack of Sacks. That's going to give us a bunch of battery charges, which is awesome. Don't die against these dudes. That would just be horrible. So I'm looking for battery charges from Sack of Sacks. We can't go into Cursed Rooms because we don't have Holy Mantle. Okay. Great rate of fire again. Good speed. Maggie's Faith does nothing for us since we don't have HP. I would love to have uh, Guppy's Collar now that I'm, like, thinking about it. Because it would basically be an additional chance that if we die, we come back as the lost. Or nine lives. Nine lives would also would be even better. Power pill. Okay. That really doesn't make a difference. Uh, okay, let's try going down since we happen to be over in this direction. There we go. Another battery charge. Eh. We're like, we're just not quite there. We'll get there eventually, though. When we get the right, when we get the right run, we'll know. It'll be a run that has, like, 10 damage and a 3 rate of fire. That's where we want to be. And with this setup, it can totally happen. This will ultimately give us another charge. As long as we don't get hit. 
along the way. Okay. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Stay back. We're okay. Leapers. They're not the ones that jump up, though, and, uh, and uh, fire tears. So it's okay. Those are the ones that scare me. The regular leapers, not so much. There we go. Okay. This might be it. We've got good speed. Our range is horrible, but we've got great, uh, very good damage, and we still have broken the tier cap. So this might be the one to stay with. We just need, like, a range upgrade. And then we'd be set. I am dead. Killed by a, a little bone boy. Ah, still, it was a, an interesting run. We made it farther than I thought I would once we came back as the Lost without Holy Mantle. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. It's a little bit, I know it's a little bit of a shorter one, but that's okay. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.